Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to my basement finishing project. So this video is going to be very different than the others, most of which were sort of segments of the project, and I've been putting this out more or less in chronological order, but this is just sort of a vlog-style update of where I am as of right now, literally a couple of minutes ago. I just finished putting on the last piece of vapor barrier around the wine cellar, so I am now just a tiny little cleanup steps away from being ready. I'm having installers come and put up the drywall starting on Monday. So that's a huge step. A lot of work got to this point, but I just want to sort of capture and document what everything looks like right now, because by the end of next week, it's going to look completely different. Uh, in the meantime, I have more project style videos that are still in development. Uh, all the film is in the can. I just need to edit them and get them out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, my son Mark has been putting out some really awesome content. Uh, from his model making, uh, 3D printing, etc. So I'm going to come towards you in the camera. Uh, you're currently standing right in the middle of the gym, and we'll just do sort of a walk around, uh, an update of what everything looks like as of right now. Uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy this and be ready to see the big changes between now and the next couple of times it come to you. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, so right now we're standing right in the middle of the gym, and you saw that's the basement stairs I came down. Uh, coming around this way, we walk towards the back. You can see all the way across the gym space. So all the exterior envelope is completely insulated uh, with fiberglass insulation. Um, over here, this is a wall to the wine cellar. So wine cellar required uh, insulation and vapor barrier because it's going to be different temperature and humidity inside. So that's what I just finished up. So there'll be a lot more about that to come. Um, that is a pocket door to the utility room. Over there is a pocket door to our sewage grinder, which is a requirement in my neighborhood. Lots of soffits that my uh, contractor buddy Tony helped me with, so let's take a little walk. So as we come across here to the other side of the basement, all the way across this back wall is going to be storage. So you see that weird upside down pony wall? That is going to have barn doors hung from it all the way across. So this whole space back in there is going to be useful for storage. You can see I've started covering some of the things I can't move with plastic, uh, ready for drywall and plaster. So from the stairs, now we're looking across into the entertainment space. So over on the other side of where that weird fridge is in the middle of the room, uh, eventually there will likely be a pool table there. Coming across the stairs, eventually I'm going to build a bar across there. Um, and then coming in through here, this is walking towards the custom wine cellar. I should turn the light on in here. This is now completely insulated and vapor barrier ready for the drywall um, and then all the other work that's going to uh, subsequently come. So that space also goes down underneath the stairs. So some of that's going to be useful for storage as well. Coming over here behind this big 12 foot sheets of drywall, that is the powder room. Coming over this way, we're going to step through these barn doors and into the shop annex space. So this is really going to be uh, lumber storage. I'm going to have a rolling rack over here that will take sheets of plywood, etc. Probably going to have lumber racks on this wall, this wall, and coming past the walkout door, this wall. So this is where lumber racks were temporarily until a little bit ago, until they had to come out. So I'm really excited about where I am in the project. Uh, there's one huge downside as I've been getting ready for drywall is getting everything out of the way. This is what my shop looks like. So. There's nothing's going to be happening in my shop uh, anytime in the near future. This is just storage, all of our stuff, and of course my wine that is just waiting for space in the wine cellar. So no shop projects to come in the near term, uh, but a lot more pro progress to be made in the basement. Thank you so much for watching.